A small tip I thought I should be giving to all the leaders around is that not calling names and assigning work. What does that mean? Suppose I have a group and uh, a team of say 10 members. Out of that, there are a couple of them which I've talked about earlier in my earlier videos is that there are few of them which are your favorites. Now, what happens is if I call out a name of my team member and tell him to do a particular work every time because it gets done. That's the simplest reason why any manager or a leader would call out names and give that work to a particular person because it gets done. What happens is there is a spread of negativity in the team. What happens is some people who want to perform well but are not able to perform well due to certain reasons probably not getting enough support not understanding the topic not understanding the work they feel demoralized when you call out names and give a, a piece of work to a person or a particular uh, uh, individual now, a work can be a niche work which only a person or an individual can do and at that time everybody understands that this is a work which is supposed to be done by that person. It is his or her role or his or her niche and that's the reason a leader has given that work to that particular person. However, if, it's, if that's not the scenario and that work can be given to anybody in your team then you should vote let people raise their hands or raise their voice and tell you if they want to do that work that is democracy in your team you bring democracy you have everybody speaking tell them that you can opt to do this work if nobody opts to do that work because it's difficult and it cannot be done nor people are lazy then you have a right to give it to the person you like or to the person who you know is going to be able to do that work but unless this situation comes in please do not involve in taking a name of a person and giving work to that person now this might be vocal verbal or through an email any anyhow whatever the medium of assigning work is nonetheless you need to ask people if somebody wants to take up a particular work because there in your team there are people who are able to do it but have not showcased their talent or they currently are not able to do it but want to learn and want to learn while they are working on a particular problem give them that chance and that's the sign of a good leader do that and see how your team gets involved in your work and solving your problem and from having only one or two people working well in your team or doing a particular job in your team i am sure you will at least have seven or eight people out of ten who can do that work for you and you have people who have developed themselves as well so try this and be a good leader cheers